Alright guys, well, we're back where we left off. I kind of took like a little day off a little bit for myself, but uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Looks like maybe they were packs. Packs? What were they doing all the way out here? Maybe trying to find the same place where... I'm guessing we're in the snow area. To ruin the um uh the monster hunts on this game they don't even drop you any legendaries anymore like i don't know why they mess with that so like i i tried to do uh the monster hunts like after patch they just don't drop you any legendaries at all like why Maybe it's just because of the World Slayer thing. I'm not sure. They didn't have to remove that. Oh boy, these guys are gonna be annoying. Oh my gosh. Keep freaking moving. Man, those things are so annoying. Sorry about that. I had somebody calling me for a second. Okay. These little bug creatures are so annoying. I think a, a nerf to uh, some of these abilities is happening, like I think either Tuesday or Thursday, so. <sighs> I mean, I think the only things that really need to be nerfed is uh You know, the one shot, like, you know, like type stuff. But then again, like, what do they expect? We have ascension points, it basically makes us, like, even more powerful. Like, you can't 
really do anything about that. People are gonna make bills and like, you know, be like really broken and everything. But here we are. I guess if they just, you know, fine tune it down just a, a little bit, I guess it'll be a little bit better. But, I mean, in the end, we're still gonna have like a lot of points to like, you know, choose from. Like a firepower, anomaly, like all of that, just like, and depending on the player, if they're maxed out, well, not maxed out, but if they're like a high level, like Ascension, like maybe, I don't know, 80 or 90, they're gonna be cracked out. There's no doubt, of, like no doubt about it. There's not much you could do there, to be honest. That's just like, <laughs> that's just how you know they play the game enough. Like they they grind it to that point to you know become more broken or whatever. But hopefully the nerf is not too bad. I know they're gonna be like, you know, tackling some of the pyromancer, probably the uh, heat seeker stuff and maybe the turret builds for Technomancer, hopefully not because I like to use the turrets I like recently like tried to uh, what use the, the shrapnel like uh, loadout or whatever before it was just all blighted realms this blah 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 I'm not trying to use that all the time you know so I'm glad that the turrets came in because before my two main sets were in fact like the Plague Sour set and the um uh, what is it the Torrential Downpour set which I absolutely love because it gives you like a lot of armor and if you build it right those grenades could literally like stun lock and just like in it like interrupt enemies and stuff it's amazing. Hands down, like, probably one of my favorite sets. And, you know, basically it's just revolved around anomaly power. Not doing much in that area. Firepower doesn't really matter too much, depending on your level, at least. I do want to, like, try and make build videos for you guys. Since I kind of have, like, a good amount of hours on this game. Obviously, I'm playing on my lower characters, because I'm trying to, like, you know, get them up to, uh higher tier like I think my pyromancer is the lowest cuz I don't know at first my friend was like telling me the uh, how the pyromancer like kind of worked I was not that interested I'm not gonna lie and then when I was using him I was like okay every other class gets ability or no gets health back when they activate their abilities but the pyromancer it, it, it's kind of weird. Pyromancer is weird at first, like when you first like use him. You'd expect him to like, you know, after you do like an ability, get like a good amount of health back. No, it's just you don't. And then it's obvious with Trickster, because you know, you got to kill stuff to get your health back. Makes sense. Or you could just do the build that I'm doing, which is a tank build, basically. I can't wait until I get that shield beast set, because, like, it actually, like, might help out, because I like to use shields a lot. They're really effective. Like, do you ever, like, get into, like, a difficult spot, and you have, like, a good ability to just, like, um... You know, get your shields up really quickly. You can basically just use that to your advantage. And I'm pretty sure how that set works. It's like, what, every percent of shield, like, gives you, like, anomaly power? That's freaking amazing. That's cool. I want to play Trickster more, because... Well, really, I want to play my other characters more. I have, like, almost every single... No, I actually do. I have all the legendary sets on my Technomancer. <laughs> I barely have any on my other characters. Not good, man. I don't know, Technomancer is just fun. They have a lot of variety to choose from. You can... Okay, I thought I heard somebody talking. Oops. 
No, but they have a lot of variety to choose from. Um, you know, you could either do the minigun build, which is really fun. You could make that cracked out now. And basically have the minigun do, like, toxin damage. Before, it was just, like, just guns. Or just not, not guns, but just, like, bullets only. Uh, scales with anomaly power. Now, it's like you got in tox or you got toxin. It applies vulnerable on top of, you know, um like poison status and everything and then if you spec it into the top tree on the packs you know you could get the additional like other statuses to like stack on to your minigun minigun's really fun i'm glad that they buffed it because not many people were using it on technomancer it was all lighted rounds or cold snap with the uh you know surges barrette build whatever crits yeah I'm kind of glad we're off that meta a little bit. Personally, I hated using it, and some others hated using it. Lighter rounds is just a go-to, to be honest. Like, if you don't have anything, you know, to, like, spec into, I can see where uh, it might actually, like, come in, like, useful or whatever. But this game's fun, I will say. It's just like if you're gonna play it, uh, definitely try and play it with friends, or you know, find some people to like try and play it with. There's people out there. I've met people in like expeditions and whatever, because those are fun. Especially if you got a team that, you know, just knows what they're doing, just completely runs through it. You can get, like, a lot of rewards from it. Now, I will say, I feel like... Um, sorry, I'm talking so much, but I will say... I feel like they've um, really changed the drop rate on this game, because it definitely doesn't feel the same anymore. I've gotten at least, like... 50, like, or not 50, maybe, like... 20 or 30 duplicates of the same item without getting anything new it kind of made me upset a little bit but i think they said they're gonna address that in the new patch so hopefully they end up doing that because i don't want to sit there and get the same thing even though i don't mind it it just has to be a certain item but i went like full on 20 hours trying to get the helmet for the like flame leopard set on the technomancy it just wouldn't drop and i kept on you know uh what was it oh yeah i kept on resetting diago's like inventory <sighs> it was so annoying so reason it just wouldn't work like why some kind of massive can't tell what's on the other side. I'm heading toward it. All right, let's go in. Uh, another damn blizzard. They're really starting to bite. All right, let's go. Step right into this damn monster. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of want to play through the story. Also, might uh, try and do another playthrough through Elden Ring because at first I kind of missed a few things. Not gonna lie, I missed a few things here and there. There's like so many side quests that I completely missed. Like I think I actually missed all of them. I might actually go and see if I can finish them off. Like you know. Off recording. I have to see the.
I'm really trying to put out more videos, dude. Like, I I'm trying. Cause like, I got work, you know, and school or whatever. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, I do want another set, cause like, this one is okay, but I've been using this ever since like I got on Trickster. It's kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie, man. Kind of boring, just a little bit. I would love to get like some new like legendary sets I can use or something. Be nice. Just had to see. Now I think uh, this is gonna be off topic, but I think um, if you guys like Gotham Knights, I'm pretty sure like uh, they said they might like fine tune or, or maybe work on the game a little bit more for like Red Hood, because you know players were like kind of complaining about that. And the way he looks, it's like, if you read the comics, it's, he does have that mystical leap, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of like weird at first, because, in like, compared to the Arkham Knight Red Hood, which was like a good representation, because that's exactly how you, how he would like move, move like really quick and like trying to kill people off with his guns. There, I feel like he's just too tanky. I'm like, I'm sitting here, you know, they, they have time to work on it, but, you know, months die down, like, soon enough. July is gonna end soon. Well, not soon, but like, after a while, too. And I'm pretty sure, what, it releases in November? So they got some time to work on it, but, oof. You know, I'm not usually too hard on, like, when the uh, game just, like, or when they're just showing off stuff, and it's not finished product. I'm not too hard on them for that, but I feel like they could address, like, Red Hood better, because people that are DC fans, they're gonna, like, <laughs> they're gonna want to play a good Red Hood. Like, we get he's bulky and everything, but, you know, we want to, like, uh-oh, oops, oh, can't die, can't die, can't die, can't die, gotta get some kills, there we go, what? Wow, okay, those birds are so annoying, man, sheesh. No, but I, I do give them credit for, um, you know, coming up with the game, because there's never been an Arkham game with, you know, you could play as all those characters. They were always, like, either in the story that you had to play with, or, like, or had a chance to play with, and that was it. Other than that, you know, it was basically just Batman throughout, which is cool, because, like, it's Batman. But seeing, like, all the, you know, the Gotham Knights, that's, that's really cool. And then Court of Owls. I know, I think there's some speculation on, like, some of the villains in there. I think Riddler's gonna be in there. I don't, definitely not Deathstroke. I don't think the game would suit him too well. Okay, even if they do Deathstroke, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be terrible. That would be cool. Oh my gosh. C can you not? Okay. Gosh, man. Give me some breathing room. Yeah, those birds are so annoying. I hate them so much.
get out of the way. <sighs> what do those birds have to be in this game? Such annoying creatures. They, they don't give you any breathing room. And it's not like I have an automatic shotgun or anything. Okay, I'm frozen. Oh my... Dude... What the... Come on! Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're lowering the difficulty. Jeez, man. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, that's why it's 46. Oh, I was doing alright. Might actually have to do some expeditions. Oh, come on, man. Really? Get off of me. Somehow that hits me. Okay. Can I activate my ability? Gosh dang! Hate that thing so much. I tell you what's annoying. If you guys ever did like Eye of the Storm, you know, well, you might not know, but like, <clears throat> apparently, like when you're on the final boss, he has these like smaller ads that just come in, and they just don't stop spamming you. Like, they give you no breathing room. Like, I hate games that do that. I do not like it. So like I get it's supposed to be hard, but I don't like the the challenge isn't there if they're just gonna spam. I'd rather them just like, you know, do more damage or something instead of spamming. I can almost get you to one shot, not just sit there and spam the same move. You can't even like activate your ability sometimes. It's uh, those guys are so annoying. Like right when you get the boss phase, they just jump out of nowhere, just start spamming you. It's literally cost me my run so many times. He's gone for a solo flawless. Hold on. When I found him in the forest, he used to mention a sanctuary. Oh, I could be higher. I could. This is such a good one too. Uh, the skill is effective to magazines for triggering cooldown. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. Keep on forgetting. I don't have the full set. Yeah, that does suck. That's how we do it. Okay. Look at these guys. Look like they're all trying to get somewhere. Hmm. Top of the coordinates. Architecture looks packs all right, but guys, the blizzard, it just stopped. What are you talking about? The storm just keeps getting worse. Yeah, but not here. There's some kind of energy barrier keeping it out. Fascinating. But how? An obelisk. Like the one August used to push back the storm. Is that what's protecting this place? I might do some off uh, camera stuff. Might actually, like, uh, you know, go and grind for some higher gear. Because that would be very helpful. What level is this? 53. Okay. Um, might as well try and use this weapon, I guess. Alright. Got a PAX point. Heck yeah. Gonna be quiet during the cutscene. Don't you guys hear it? storms that obelisk it's making that barrier that's why Salvador wanted us to find you huh? used to bring Salvador these delicious candies did you any candies did you any candies uh no I uh... Such beautiful things once your people made. But all over now, this Anmalashad is nearly done. My last Ditare is crumbling to dust. here looking for help <laughs> Look, I have no right but that obelisk it could save my people cannot save any one any more mm. it's all right nothing ever really ends why you want to live so bad hmm? soon oh planet you 
should join me. Much more gentle this way. You know, you sit here in your little bubble crying over candies. You've given up. But some packs, they found a way to fight back. I watched my friend August give up everything for one of us. August was alive. You saved? No. She saved us. And then... August believed in you. I see. Maybe a way. There is one more shark. Great power from roots of Anmala. Mm. Enough mm -mm. for one. More Iruak Itare. Itare? You mean an obelisk? How? Very dangerous. Many beasts now, and savages thrown back. All who go to Lost City for Anmala Shard die. Yeah, well, I don't die so easy. Hmm. Does not end how you want. Will be sacrifice. Will be pain. Well, can I get back to my thing? You're close. Oh, well, why'd I say close? Your class melee skill lowers damage to enemies' armor and resistance. This is the shield beast set, right? For seven seconds, really? Okay, what do I want to activate or use it on? Uh, increase your resistance, fearing or er, piercing. I guess we'll go this way. You know, it'd be nice if my, uh, my crew was in here, but of course they're not going to be. Can't blame them. They need to change some stuff. Hold on, what does my armor says actually have on them? Primitive, living in mm -hmm. Until we understood Anmala. The anomaly 